Hey, Artur from Napsack Pro here. I'm going to show you how to split your test suite across multiple CI nodes to save you some time and run your CI builds faster. Uh, let's imagine a scenario that you would like to split your tests across CI nodes, right? Running in parallel. And you may notice that some of your tests are longer, others are just shorter. And there is a problem how to divide my tests across CI nodes so the whole CI build will run faster. I'm basically aiming to have each CI node execute tests in very similar time. So thanks to that, we won't have the one very slow CI node that runs too many tests and it's a bottleneck for having fast CI builds, right? Uh, and there is thing called regular mode in Knapsack Pro, which does deterministic split. What it means deterministic split? Uh, it basically, Knapsack Pro does the upfront split of your test suite across uh, CI nodes. So how it looks, let's say we have this box and it's API of Knapsack Pro and we have two parallel CI nodes. And what we want to do on each CI node, we will execute the Knapsack Pro command. It's a rake task to execute our tests. Uh, so the command is executed on the first CI node. It will collect information about every test files in your test suite. Basically, we'll collect just test files paths and send these paths to the API. The same will happen on the second CI node. Uh, and the next thing is on the API side, we'll have a list of all test files, right? The further, uh, what hap further step what happens is that we, we want to run just half of the tests on the first CI yeah, node. So from the API will be fetched the list of test files. Uh, and when we execute the test files, the timing about each test file will be measured and sent back to the API site. This allows us to have information about your test files timing on the API site and this knowledge can be used for future CI builds run. So whenever you run another CI build, we can use this knowledge about the timing of your test files to better allocate the files across uh, CI nodes. So let's assume uh, you would have one very slow test. Uh, let's say it could be feature test with Capybara that takes maybe dozens of seconds, right? And if we know that this test is really slow, we can, we can use this information to, oh, let's put this test on the second CI node because there is less test files here. And thanks to that, uh, the timing between both uh, CI nodes will be similar. So it means we won't have like very slow, C one slow CI node that is just executing too many test files. And this allows us to eliminate the bottlenecks of having one of CI nodes to executing too much and slowing whole CI build. Uh, yeah, so this is like general flow, how regular mode works. Uh, Knapsack Pro has something called Q mode, which does dynamic test suite, test suite split. And I will tell more about it in another video. Uh, let's just go to Knapsack Pro. You can learn more there and sign up or shoot me email. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. See you. Bye bye.